guys. Today we're going to talk about doing a little troubleshooting on your Hawk trailer. All your Hawk units today run a three-wire remote system. The three wires go into your four-way plug, which goes into your four-way receiver. On the back side of your four-way receiver, as you can see, your three wires come out. You have a black wire, a white wire, and a green wire. Your black wire coming out is power that runs to the power side of the solenoid where your red cable for your battery goes. The white wire goes to the very top post on your solenoid and is your up position. The green wire coming in is butt connected into the yellow wire which runs into the coil which rises the spool valve. The coil in the spool valve is what activates and makes your, your Hawk trailer come down. All of your caulked up trailers come equipped with a marine style deep cycle battery. The battery that comes on this unit from the factory comes with a 550 cold cranking out unit. If you're going to replace the battery on your Hawk trailer, make sure you go with a deep cycle battery. When it comes to the fluid in your Hawk unit, if you're going to add fluid or replace the fluid in your unit, make sure you go back with Dextron automatic transmission fluid. That's what we use in all of our Hawk units. We don't run hydraulic oil and a lot of folks call in and want to know what to put back in or what to add to their unit. From time to time we get calls into the factory with people having trouble with their Hawk trailer. 75% of the calls that we get in our technical department is someone's unit's out in the field and it's up and it won't go down. There's three, there can be up to three issues when you have this trouble in the field. One, you're low on charge of the battery. Two, there may be a little trash stuck in the spool valve of your unit. Or three, the coil isn't working itself. 90% of these calls that come into our, to our factory are, are, are strictly just a lack of power on the battery. On a Hawk unit, they're both power up and power down. It takes more power to let a Hawk trailer down than it does to raise it up. When you match the up button on your trailer, power is sent to the solenoid and the solenoid begins the motor to start pumping fluid. Fluid is pumped out of the reservoir into the cylinder which extends the shaft and raises your trailer. On the down position of a Hawk trailer, being both power up and power down, when you mash the down button, you're sending power to the coil. The coil has to energize and create a magnetic field which plunges the spool valve that it rides on. Generally, it takes anywhere from 11.5 to 11.7 minimum volts to lower a Hawk dump trailer. If you're checking the voltage on your trailer, make sure you check the voltage while depressing your buttons to make sure you don't have a voltage drop. Like I say, 90% of the problems that people call in here is low voltage on the battery, where people either don't charge their battery up or don't have enough time between trips for their vehicle to charge the battery back to an adequate level. Eighty percent of our calls that come in our technical apartment are usually the same thing. My Hawk trailer is up and it won't come back down. Ninety percent of the time when our trailer is up and it won't go back down, it's a low voltage problem. Either you, your battery needs a good charge or maybe it's got a bad cell, but it's time to check the battery. Some of the other issues you may have with your Hawk trailer, if it's up and it won't come back down, is you may have trash stuck in a spool valve, which your coil rides. It could be the coil itself. The coil may have gone bad. Or it may simply be the contacts in the remote. These are some of the things that you can troubleshoot and figure out what's going on with your trailer. If your trailer is up and it won't come back down, a lot of times customers want to know, can we crack a line to get my trailer down? You don't want to crack a hydraulic line on a Hawk trailer. You've got about 3,500 pounds of pressure on those lines, and uh, it, it's, 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 and it's that's an accident waiting to happen. The easiest way to get a Hawk trailer back down if it's up, it won't come down, is you can either jump your battery with a jump box. You can take and, and take a pair of jumper cables and jump it off from your vehicle. Or if it's, if it's not a voltage issue and you've got plenty of voltage, you can simply take a screwdriver and jump from large lug to large lug on your solenoid while depressing the down button. You need to depress the down button prior to jumping across these two large lugs. If you do that and you've got adequate power on your battery, your Hawk trailer will come back down. These are some of the ways that you can troubleshoot issues you may have with your Hawk trailer. But 90% of the time, when a trailer's up and it won't come down, it's low voltage. Your battery needs a good charge or it might be time to replace. Okay, you've checked your battery and you don't have a voltage issue on your Hawk trailer. Yet, it's up and you can't get it down. The next item that I would check would make sure that you've got adequate current 
coming to the coil itself. If that is the case, you can remove the coil and check to make sure you don't have any trash in the spool valve. To remove the coil, it takes a three quarter inch wrench. Just a matter of loosening the nut. Once you loosen the nut, back this nut off. Pull this off. And with a seven eighths wrench, you can loosen this spool valve, pull it out, and make sure you don't have any trash in the valve itself. Before doing any of this, you need to have a prop rod in place or some way of securing this bed so nobody gets hurt. Let's talk a little bit about your remote on your Hawk trailer. All of our Hawk units are power up and power down units. If you're having trouble with your remote, when depressing the buttons nothing's happening, make sure you've got a good connection to your four-way plug. And if you're still having an issue, you may take the remote apart and make sure that your contacts do not have any corrosion or any kind of buildup on top of them. These are water resistant remotes, but they are not waterproof. It's a good idea to always unplug your remote and keep it in the pickup truck or keep it in the house to keep it out of the wood. When troubleshooting your remote on your Hawk, if you've opened up the remote and the contacts and everything looks good but you're still not having any luck when depressing the buttons, you may try taking the plug apart to make sure you have good contact inside the plug. It's a matter of releasing a set screw, taking a Phillips head screwdriver and backing out the strain relief and opening up your plug. In the back side of the plug, as you can see here, there's set screws for each wire to go in for each terminal. The way the current remotes are wired up for a Hawk trailer, you've got three wires. You've got black, green, and white. As you'll see, there is a silver post, and the other three posts are gold. If you start at the silver post and go counterclockwise while wiring this remote in alphabetical order, B, G, white, black, green, white, this is the correct way to wire a Hawk remote. If you take these connections and you've got good connections with all three wires on your four wire plug and everything is tight and secure, reconnect the outside sleeve of your four way plug. Hey guys, let's do a brief overview of the things we've talked about today. We've talked about remotes and how to properly wire them. We've talked about fluid and the type of fluid that we run in our Hawk trailers. We've talked about batteries and what style and type of batteries to run in your Hawk trailer. We've talked about what it takes to make one go up and what it takes to bring one down. Remember, keep your battery properly charged. Adequate voltage means that a trailer will go up and go down and you won't be stuck on a job site. We use the same power plants, the same hydraulic units in every trailer, whether it's our 8x20 heavy duty series or our 5x8 light landscaper. Remember, the Hawk has a service department and part department to handle any of your parts needs on call at all times. If you have any issues with your Hawk, you can call me directly at 1-800-532-7244. And thank you for your interest in your business.